Back in the 70s, nobody ever talked about climate change, uh, certainly not anthropogenic climate change caused by humans. And so it's fortuitous that we started this project back when we did, because that's allowed us to watch as, particularly since about the mid-1980s, things have really started to change. 美国洛基山脉上，一群生态学家误打误撞，原本只为了研究蜂鸟和大黄蜂与植物间互利共生的习性，从七零年代开始记录附近山区动植物的数量和分布等资料。没想到这项搜集了四百万只花草、一百二十种生物的珍贵资料库，在四十五年后成为科学家研究气候变迁的重要依据。As the climate is warmed, a lot of species are moving up in elevation, and so they have these scientists have a research site up at 11,000 feet, and they've seen a brand new species of caddisfly arrive there that they've never seen there before. 不仅生物栖息地改变，山上花朵的盛开期也比四十年前平均提早一个月。更可怕的是，物种习性转变后带来的病虫害危机。Mosquito that used to be down around the altitude of Gunnison, and that's now up here, is one of the ones that bites those white. Crown sparrows and transmits diseases like avian malaria, and that mosquito can also, unlike the ones that used to be up here, can also transmit West Nile virus. 原本的生态平衡就此被破坏。科学家破解生物圈的隐藏密码，一再证明气候变迁是不争的事实。大爱新闻，刘仁豪编译。